Now at four, SWAT scene in Bel Air ends peacefully, but not without hours of negotiations with the suspect. The suspect had a pistol to his head the entire time after police say he fired several shots at them hours earlier. Good afternoon and thank you for joining us. I'm Keith Garvin. And I'm Sophia Ojeda. We've been following this story since before our newscast at midday. It involved two scenes, including a gas station near the West Loop and a home on Tamarisk in Anderson where the standoff happened. And Channel 2's Sally Mamdu is live there now. Sally, everyone in that neighborhood was definitely holding their breath for a minute there. Oh, absolutely, Sophia. The incident happened right behind me here outside this home, and no one here knew how this would end, but everybody is glad it didn't cost any lives. Hovering on the front porch of a southwest Houston home, a man wanted by Belair police with a gun to his head. We tried to talk to him, tried to get him to put the gun down. Uh, he refused to cooperate. Belair Chief of Police Byron Holloway says the same man fired at several of his officers when they tried to pull him over for a traffic violation this morning near 6th Dead and Furnace. Officers fired back, but the man fled to the front of this home in the 4800 block of Temerisk Lane, where he sat for hours pointing a gun to his head. Mike McNitzel, who lives across from the home, recorded the incident on his phone. I could see a man on the stoop that was basically had a gun to his head, was moving the gun to his mouth, uh, was moving it to his body. Several hours later, HPD SWAT and the negotiation team fired pepper spray pellets taking down the wanted suspect alive. The conclusion everyone was hoping for. It was very impressive, not only the way they handled it, but the amount of people that they sent mm -hmm. to protect the neighborhood and make sure that we were all safe. Now, we are still working on learning the identity of the suspect. The charges against him are still pending. Now, it's important to note no officers were hurt during today's incident. We are live in southwest Houston. Sally Mabdu, KPRC Channel 2 News.